Good morning to one and all. This is Nagar Jyoti working as an assistant professor in Department of ECE in Saint Peter's Engineering College. So in the last session, we have seen about the importance of dot convention, how to solve the problems based on the dot convention. So here, the next topic is equivalent T for magnetically coupled circuit. So here, the name itself indicates equivalent T. So whenever we are saying it as magnetically coupled circuit itself indicates it is it consists of a self inductance as well as mutual inductance. So here whenever we are dealing with the concept of magnetically coupled circuits, there we need to use a concept of dot convention. But in case of a dot convention, if we are unable to write down the expressions, correct the expressions for the mutual inductances depending upon the entering current and leaving current, we cannot able to find out the loop currents of correct manner. So here what we are doing over here in case of an equivalent T circuit is without using a concept of dot convention, we are converting this complete magnetically coupled circuits into a equivalent T circuits without using a concept of dot convention. So here the idea behind using of equivalent T circuit for magnetically coupled circuits is without using the rules of dot convention, we are converting the magnetically coupled circuits into a T equivalent circuit. So here the T equivalent itself indicates the notation, the representation of a T is nothing but a, a sleeping end followed by a standing end. Or in simple words, I can say that it consists of a complete horizontal way and in between there is a vertical way. So here depending upon that concept here, the ET equivalent circuit consists of an impedance parameters, those two impedance parameters which are present in the horizontal case is Z1 and Z2. And here there is other more impedance in between those two which is nothing but an Z3. So here the first circuit represents it is a magnetically coupled circuit. Here magnetically coupled circuit itself indicates it consists of a self inductance as well as a mutual inductance. So here I am saying it as it consists of two coils which are placed side by side to each other. The inductance of the first coil is J omega L1 and the inductance for the second coil is J omega L2. As these two coils are placed side by side to each other, because of V1 voltage, there is some current flowing through that of J omega L1, that is self uh, linkage of that coil. So the current is flowing with the self inductance is I1, but because as these two, because of V1, there is some other flux which is linking up with the second coil due to that it will create some other inductance which is nothing but called as mutual inductance. So here because of V1 the current flowing through the L1 is I1 and due to of V1 I1 current is all some form, some I1 current is flowing through the second coil also that is nothing but a mutual inductance. Similarly we are applying the for the second loop also we are applying some voltage source V2 because of this voltage source some current is flowing through that which is I2. This I2 is linked up with that of the self inductance coil which is L2. So the EMF induced over here is self. Similarly because of this I2 current some flux is linked up with that of the L1 coil that is nothing but called as a mutual inductance. So here the self inductances are of two, one is J omega L1 and the other one is J omega L2. Similarly here we are having a mutual inductance J omega L2. So for the first circuit we need to apply the dot convention method and we will be writing the loop equations for loop 1 as well as loop 2. So now let me write on the applying the KVL for loop 1 I am writing the loop equation. So here the current which is flowing in the loop 1 is I1 and it is flowing through the R1 resistance as well as J omega L1 inductance. So here I can write down I1 into R1 plus J omega L1. And here if you observe the first loop here we are having a dot. In this the current flowing through this dot is dot to coil and here the current is I1. And the, in the opposite the current dot is present over here, the direction of current is this is I2 
and this is I1. So in your I1 current is dot to coil, I2 current is also dot to coil as both are in the same direction. The mutual inductance value is M. So here the mutual inductance is J omega. So in your plus J omega into opposite current. I am writing the expression for this dot but the opposite current for this dot is I2. So here J omega M into I2 which is, is equal to V1. Similarly, we need to write down the loop equation for the second loop. So here for the loop 2, the current flowing is I2. So I2 current is flowing through the R2 resistor as well as J omega L2 resistor. So I can write down I2 into R2 plus J omega L2 which are nothing but resistance values and self inductance values. And here as a dot is present over here, the current flowing through this is dot to coil. The opposite also flowing in the dot to coil as both are in the same direction. The mutual inductance is positive. So it is J omega M plus J omega M. But for this dot, the opposite current is I1. So plus J omega M I1 into V2. So now we need to write down this in the matrix form. So first is I1 current R1 plus J omega L1 and I2 current is plus J omega M. Coming to the second one, I1 is J omega M and I2 is R2 plus J omega L2. This is I1 current and I2 current and the applied voltages are V1, second is V2. Similarly, we need to write down the loop equations for the T equivalent circuit also. So, whatever the expressions which we have written here, these are related towards the magnetically coupled circuit. Now, we need to write down the expressions for the T equivalent. Now, this is V2. Now, for the first one, I1 current is flowing. This I1 current is flowing through the Z1. And if you observe here, in case of Z3, I1 current is flowing in this way. I2 current is also flowing in this way. As both the currents are in the same direction, I can write down both the currents are aided currents. That is, I1 plus I2 current is flowing in terms of the Z3. So, I can write down loop 1 as Z1, I1 and Z3 as I1 plus I2 which is equal to V1. Similarly, for the second one or in the other words, I can write down, I will be taking Z1, I1 related terms one side. So, Z1 plus Z3 into I1 plus Z3 I2 equal to V1. Similarly, for loop 2, the current which is flowing in Z2 is only I2. That is Z2 into I2. As both the currents are flowing in the same direction, that is Z3 into I1 plus I2 equal to V2. So, first I1 currents are Z3 I1 and I2 currents are Z2 plus Z3 into I2 which is equal to V2. Now, we need to write down these in the matrix form. So, in case of a matrix form, the first is I1 currents, that is Z1 plus Z3, I2 current is Z3. In the second equation, I3 current is Z3, I2 current is Z2 plus Z3. The currents are I1, I2 and the voltages are V1 and V2. Now let me take this complete matrix of magnetically coupled circuit as equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if we compare the equation 1 with that of the equation 2, we can say that here I1 and I2 and V1, V2 are same. So by comparing these two equations, we can write down in such a way that So, comparing equations 
one and two. The first term in case of one is R one plus J omega L one. So here I can write down Z one plus Z three equal to R one plus J omega L one. Similarly, J omega M is equal to Z three. J omega M is equal to Z three for the second as well as third terms. And the next one is Z two plus Z three is equal to R two plus J omega L two. So here the value of Z Z three is nothing but minus J sorry Z three is equal to J omega M. So we can write down this in such a way that Z one is equal to Z one is equal to R one plus J omega L one minus Z three. What is the Z three value minus uh, sorry J omega M? So R one plus J omega L one. Minus J omega M, or I can write down Z one is equal to R one. If I take J omega as common, which is left over with L one minus M, so this is the expression for Z one. Similarly, in order to write down for Z two, Z two is equal to R two plus J omega L two minus Z three. This I am taking to this side. So here R two plus J omega L two Z three is nothing but minus J omega M. So Z two is equal to R two plus J omega if I take common L two minus M. So this is the expression for Z two. And the last one already we saw Z three is equal to J omega M. So this complete circuit we can replace with that of equivalent circuit. Here in such a way that whatever the expressions which we got from Z one, Z two, Z three, just I am writing that Z one, Z two, and Z three in such a way that here first old A source is B one of T here. Instead of Z one, I need to replace R one plus J omega L one minus M. So here the current flowing through the first one is I one, as it is related with the resistance of R one. So Z one equal to R one. Here inductance L one minus M. So here L one is nothing but self inductance and M is mutual inductance. So J omega into L one minus M. Similarly. Z two is equal to R two, and Z three is J omega M, which is nothing but a pure inductor. This value is J omega M. Here Z two is equal to R two. So here This is plus minus as I two current is going in this direction. First, I am drawing the resistance J omega L two minus M with that of voltage source. This is T equivalent circuit for magnetically coupled. So here, what we are doing for this is first, just we are drawing the self-inductance followed by the mutual inductance by using a concept of dot convention. We are writing the loop equations one and two, and next we are drawing the T equivalent circuit. From this T equivalent circuit, here we are representing the complete T equivalent circuit with the inductances of Z1, Z2, and Z3. So from that T equivalent circuit, we are writing the loop equations loop. And we are writing the loop equation. After writing the loop equations, we are representing both in terms of the matrix form. So we are equating the magnetically coupled circuit matrix with that of the T equivalent matrix. And from that, we are writing the equations in terms of Z1, Z2, and Z3. Whatever the Z1, Z2, Z3 values which we are writing. From that, instead of Z1, here the Z1 equal to R1 plus J omega. 
into L1 minus M, that is the reason this complete Z1 equivalent is replaced with that of the corresponding resistances and impedances value. So, this is how to draw the T equivalent for magnetically coupled circuits without using any dot convention principle. So, here we are not using any dot convention principle, just we are converting the magnetically coupled circuits into a T equivalent circuit. So, in this case, I am not writing the expressions depending upon where the dot is present over here. This is the way how to convert magnetically coupled circuits into a T equivalent circuit. Thank you.